We are back with this series and today is all about, you guessed it, Klingon. I had to watch a lot of fan base content to make this video, so thanks to all of you who made Klingon related content, it was a lot of fun to do, it is very very interesting and I'm so glad I got to explore this language. So you guessed it, I know nothing about Klingon, I haven't seen Star Trek, but I saw the opportunity to learn this language and share it, so here we are. Let's get started with it. First of all, name of language and origin. So Klingon is a constructed language, or a conlang as we call it, and it is the official language of the Klingon species from Star Trek. The language was developed by the linguist Mark Ockrent, and he got hired on the third movie. So in the previous movies there were already some phrases and he had to work with it to fully get uh, the new language. So he had to have this guttural sound to match the guttural sound from the previous languages. He also had the intention of not making it human, to make it an alien language. So what he did is he took sounds from some languages, um, like Native American languages and Asian languages, and he broke the rules from those languages and created something that is not human-like, that doesn't follow human patterns. So it looks very strange and it sounds very strange for human. So it is alien-like. And it actually works because what makes a language alien-like is making it not human. Where is it spoken? All around the world, of course, it is a language with a very dedicated fan base and it's very interesting to see what's out there. So whatever there's internet connection or access to the book, you can learn Klingon. Number three, number of speakers. There are maybe a dozen fluent speakers of Klingon. It's not very common because it doesn't have like daily vocabulary, so it's more related to Star Trek and combat and space and starships, so um, you wouldn't really use it in a daily basis, even though with time they have developed like new words and stuff. But what's interesting to me is that in On Duolingo, which they have a course on it, a free course, it is over 300 thousand people who are learning it or who at least have given it a try. And there are no Klingon native speakers on earth, um, even though there was this guy who tried to teach his son Klingon as a first language, but like when the guy was, when the kid was like five years old, he was bored of it and didn't continue, so it was a fail experiment. But hey, we never know, one of these Klingon fans, maybe one of you, will teach your kid Klingon as a first language. We'll see. And I really want to see that. Now let's talk about interesting features and facts. Klingon can be used with a Latin script or with a uh, Klingon script, which is very interesting, by the way. And the Latin script is the most commonly used. In the Latin scripts, you'll notice a couple of things. First is that it is case sensitive, so like writing a um, lowercase Q and then cased, uppercase. Uh, Q, I don't know how to say that in English, but the thing is that with the cases, it changed the pronunciation and the letter. There are different letters. Also, there are some letter combinations that are considered to be one letter, like CH, GH, NG, and even TLH. And the apostrophe is one letter, and it marks a glottal stop. So I'm going to be showing here how the alphabet looks like. So as you see, it's case sensitive. Some letters are two letters, and um, you have the apostrophe. <laughs> a very interesting fact, there is a full play almost full, almost 100%, it was like 90% of the play is in Klingon. It's called A Klingon Christmas Carol, which is based on the classic A Christmas Carol. And it's all in Klingon except for the narrator who narrates in English. And people have done it a couple of times. It is, it is very, very curious. Now let's talk about resources. Of course, I'm going to start with Duolingo. It's the most noticeable uh, at the moment. It is free. It is very easy to go through. It is kind of playful. So I try Duolingo naturally and I what I actually find very interesting is that because I know nothing about Klingon but I know some like cultural information, I use a desktop version which always offers like this like grammar cards or like just general notes. Um, they also linked uh, me to some other videos that I'm gonna be talking about later. Um, but it was very interesting. It started without sound and then they started the sounds because the sounds are very difficult. Actually, I haven't got down the sounds. It was too hard for me. But Duolingo is a great course. Of course, it's fun, it's free, and you can have it in your phone and your computer. I recommend desktop version. Again, it's more useful, but whatever works for you. Now, the Klingon Language Institute also offers a course and you can do free membership 
and you can get like I think the first unit for free and it's also very good and then you can have a paid membership which is not expensive at all it's just like ten dollars for an entire year so if you're serious about this language I would say go for it like they are the Klingon language institution like they're like the kings in this language so I would just use it um, it's very powerful they also have meetings they make it a very social experience which I think it's wonderful especially because Klingon is not like a very studied language like very popular language to study so um, having this community to back you up is very um, good for your learning I also use this app and I think this is totally optional I don't think you need this um, but there is the Klingon Write It or Write It Klingon app I will leave a link in the description box um, but it is just like to write the Klingon alphabet so I I've been using it and actually I'm still using it whenever I'm bored I will do that because it is very fun to do it's just like I guess by the end of this year I'll be like reading Klingon fluently just don't know what it means um, but it is actually very fun it's not necessary because as I told before like most of it most of the people use Latin script because of course it's more practical but um, if you want to learn the, the script uh, the Klingon script you have this app called write it Klingon check it out there are these videos also from this German Klingon teacher and he teaches um, both in English and German and they're very good he's dressed in full Klingon forehead and I will leave a link in the description and somewhere here you have to check him out he does his bite-sized um, phrases courses so it is a very good one and you have it English and German so if you're also learning German it might also be helpful so check that out of course there is the like the Bible which is like the um, Klingon dictionary by Marco Graham by the creator and you can get it on Amazon I think it's about 13 euros and I think the Kindle version is something like 11 euros or something I will also leave a link in the description so you can check that out and of course if you're serious about this language it's very good I downloaded on Kindle the preview and I really like the way it was written because it has like this tone and this like um, it, you really felt like you were learning a language like Klingon. So it first um, have all the grammar and then just a basic dictionary. And it's funny because Mark Ogren actually said that he used, he put down the words that are less related to Star Trek and more related to daily life in this dictionary. So I would recommend it to check it out. I will also leave a link to 101 Languages who made a full list of resources, paid and free, and you can check that out. They also have like TED Talks that are like subtitling Klingon and that kind of stuff so that will for sure be helpful and if you are kind of new to Star Trek or you just don't know enough I will recommend you to watch this video that I will leave in the description down below and somewhere here I don't know where and the video it's about the Klingon Empire and what is Klingon and everything so you really need cultural context for this you really need to know about the fiction behind it so as you can see there is plenty of free courses and low-cost courses which I think is very interesting like the uh, Klingon Language Institute, just in dollars a year is completely doable, I believe. And the book is also not overly expensive, so you can really learn entire Klingon for a very good deal. Now comes the most embarrassing part, and I do this in all my videos, so I didn't want to leave it out, but I almost did because I cannot pronounce it Klingon. I'll do my best, though. I have these phrases um, that I got on the internet. And they're just funny phrases. So the first one is is like it's it's a way of, that Klingons call each other cowards and it's ka sope. Maybe it means uh, he doesn't eat ga, which I don't know what ga is <laughs> because I don't know anything. But um it is a it, I just yeah, I don't know what to say. Oh I like this one. Um, for the honor of the empire, which is like we're in the same team, guys. Um, well, but I don't know the D, like the upper case D, it's like very strong, so yeah. And then <laughs> this is the last one, I swear, I'm sorry. Klingon ba, and it's we are Klingon. Yep. Oh, and the last one, kapla, which means success. It's also a way they say like but they don't really say bye because they're going on so it's just like success success in your next battle success in your whatever you're doing Kapla. so yeah so embarrassing <laughs> this is all for Klingon folks um let me know if you like Kanlangs I do I love them 
<laughs> what which one should I learn next which one should I share with you next I love learning Kung Langs um, it's just like a fun thing to do also gets me fresh into my other languages um, even if you're not if fully the Star Trek fan I would recommend you to try Klingon at least and see um, what makes it a non-human language I think it's a very ex nice experiment to check out so Thank you very much for watching. Thanks to my patrons for making these videos possible. If you don't know what a patron is, you can go to the link in the description below. And this is all for today. I will see you in the next one. Kapla.